Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Rock, a part of Canada International Student Magazine, where today we are here with Principal Travis, part of RCA, where we will be doing a school tour. Yeah, it would be my pleasure and privilege to give you a guide of our campus, so come along with me. Let's go have a look. Let's go. So we're about to head downstairs to one of the two floors that he's used for grades nine to 12 uh, for their uh, classes, classes in all their classrooms as well as meeting spaces. Uh, so what you're gonna see downstairs is largely the humanities classrooms uh, as well as a student congregating location in the middle uh, where they can hang out during their break times or during lunch times. Uh, they can come and, and, and enjoy each other's fellowship in that area. Um, and then within the classrooms, you'll see that they're pretty spacious classrooms, which is intentional. And, and all of them with technology available to them, uh, which is probably important for our guests that would be coming from overseas. They want to know that we're not simply in a textbook, but we actually are using technology. Uh, and so you should be able to see that in some of the classrooms that we see downstairs. Let's go have a look. We're about to uh, give you a sample of one of the humanities classes, specifically an English grade nine class. Uh, we're just gonna go in and have a look and see. Uh, again, you can observe the number of students, the technology that's there in the room. Uh, I think they're just in a work space right now, so the teacher is uh, not presenting. There's no interaction happening. They're just working on an assignment, but we can go and have a look and see what they're doing. Let's go. So now we're about to show you our band room. It's the newest addition to this building. It was built in 2016. Uh, in it, we host band students from grade five through grade 12. Uh, the group in here right now is a grade 10 group, uh, getting instruction from their band teacher, Mr. Jason Strain. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, so we've arrived outside the chapel door. The chapel is used again across all grades, but we make sure that we do it within small enough groups that they can actually engage with what they're learning and participate in the worship that happens there. So currently I believe we have uh, grades 11 and 12 in the chapel. Uh, they're in the middle of a message right now, but we'll go in and have a peek and then we'll come back out and visit. Okay, let's have a look. Thank you very much for showing us the chapel in there. It looked uh, very uh, interactive in there too. Yeah, well, who you saw there was our chaplain, which is not common to every school, uh, certainly not even every Christian school, but we hired a chaplain intentionally for the purpose of providing some continuity for spiritual formation of the student. So he does a lot of different things, but he obviously preaches here. He's also available throughout the day for students to be able to make contact with. Maybe they have questions, maybe they're exploring something. Uh, life is tough, but they need somebody that actually would help guide and direct them through that spiritual formation. So we intentionally brought him on staff for that purpose. Uh, these grades, uh, again, was grades 11 and 12. Uh, that makes up and currently in size um, probably nearly about 100 students. So typically our class size is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 23 to 26 students. So this is probably, uh, and we have two classes of every grade. So 
Uh, that's why you see about 100 in there. Grade 11, about 50. Grade 12, about another 50. So, of course. Are there any younger grades that also participate in here too? Or yeah, they, they all participate. So uh, we, have we have chapels for kindergarten to grade 3, chapel for grades 4 through grade 6, chapel for grades 7 and 8, chapel for grade 9, 10, and then as we saw here, chapels for 11 and 12. So we're about to walk into the school gymnasium. This gymnasium services all students kindergarten to grade 12. You'll see a large curtain that separates the two sides of the gym. Uh, the front side is the larger side that services the students in grades 7 through 12. And then behind the curtain is a smaller gym that services the students in kindergarten to grade 6. Come on in. What would you say are some of the most popular sports in the school? Yeah, undoubtedly basketball, volleyball, uh, soccer. Ultimate Frisbee is up and coming. Uh, badminton is very popular to some of you and it is also played here in British Columbia and in our school. Uh, those are probably the most common ones to us. Of course, of course, and it must be some great exercise for students and uh, a mix of fun as well and teamwork. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's opportunity to play both in school and then after school extracurricular, uh, which is important to parents who maybe can't pick up right away. So if there's an after school sport, then they can participate then and have a later pickup time as well. So uh, definitely part of our culture, though, is helping students to learn to take care of their bodies. And very much a part of that is daily exercise where possible. So and we saw the cafeteria. So diet, exercise, sleep. We want you to sleep. Lots of sleep. Yeah, of course. Taking care of the student's health is very uh, important here. Yes, yeah. well, we have to look after the whole child. Yeah, of course. Thank you. This is our cafeteria. Uh, we service students in grades 7 through 12 in this cafeteria. So they could either bring a lunch from home and certainly come and, and dine with their classmates here, or they can order from the cafeteria where food is made fresh uh, the same day of. Uh, and outstanding quality food. I highly recommend and very reasonably priced. So we hope that you would participate and join your classmates here in the cafeteria. So we've made it to the top floor of the high school. This is primarily the math sciences wing. There will be other courses taught up here such as Bible, but predominantly it's math and science. Uh, wide, th this, this part of the building. It's important to note that the classrooms again here are different than what you just, what you would have witnessed downstairs with the humanities department. It is, uh, again, very bright, air, airy spaces, lots of natural light, but again, technology throughout each of the rooms. Uh, more importantly, probably, is the teachers that help teach the students. Uh, very engaging, warm, and friendly people that want students to enjoy learning. So let's go have a look. Let's go. So part of our uh, desire to make sure that students feel safe, secure, and loved in this place is security of the building. Uh, outdoor access to the building is by FOB access only during school hours. Uh, and then even in the building, we leave our classroom doors in the lock position all the time. Uh, in case there is an unwanted person in the building, they're not able to just open the door freely. Um, so that's part of our practice to ensure that students are, are well looked after when they're in our care. Of course, and with parents as well, that'll give them that added uh, extra security and uh, they won't have to worry about their kids uh, being in any Yeah, danger. they need to know that, you know, they're entrusting their students to us, their children to us. It's our responsibility to care for them when they're in our care. Uh, and I think Regent does a very good job of that. Well, thank you very much for giving us an amazing school tour. We learned a lot today about your school. You're most welcome. It's been my pleasure, my honor to 
help introduce our campus to you and the students. Uh, we're very proud of what God is doing in this place. Of course, of course. Well, thank you very much for watching today. If you have any sort of questions, feel free to reach our RCA if you have any sort of questions and feel free to reach us, Canada International Student Magazine, through our social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, or our websites. Uh, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.